Thanks for staying with us now. Although activities of different groups that target civilians are definitely terrorism in nature, the attempts of the government in Nigeria to use this label may have created some confusion, especially when political um, op opponents, civil society groups, and opponents of the government have also been branded as terrorists. Now, this is an excerpt from the publication by DME Buko Bukola Oyeni, titled Terrorism in Nigeria, Groups, Activities, and Politics. You can go read them up. Now, the Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, in his remark after the bill was passed, said that the bill would complement the federal government's effort in the fight against insecurity when signed into law by the president. He said, it is our belief here in the Senate that this bill, by the time signed into an act by Mr. President, will enhance the efforts of this government in the fight against terrorism, kidnapping, and other mm -hmm. associated and related vices. Now, we are all aware of the level of insecurity in Nigeria at the moment, the killing the kidnapping, I mean, we just mentioned a few now when we're talking about it in the news segment. And general unrest, so we are asking, how does this terrorism prevention bill um, uh, protest, uh, I mean, rather, protect Nigerians? And if it is a smart or is a very insensitive move by the um, Senate? I don't want to say the other word. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-8463. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow, Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. So I would like us to probably set up, um, set a foundation for this conversation, right? Um, who are we going to start with? So, <laughs> are you, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> you know, um, let me come to you, Uti. When you saw this, Thing. Because for me, I saw it, I said, God, is this not putting the cart before the horse, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody has just gotten a phone call <laughs> that we have your loved one. Mm -hmm. And it's either you pay 15 million naira or nothing. <laughs> the first thing that raises through your mind is that how can I get this person out of the way? So the person is already thinking, I have to pay this money. Then what the Senate is saying is that if I then pay this money, I, after losing my loved one, will go to jail and I'm not even sure of my loved person coming back. Right? Let me hear your thoughts first. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I will class it as an, a sad and unimaginative solution to a very big problem. Let's be fair. Not fair. Let's be clear. We have a problem, and this is the best solution that they've been able to come up with. Is it the right solution? There are a lot of factors. I can just say yes, no, it's not the right solution, right? But do we have a kidnapping, ransom, and terrorism problem in Nigeria today? Absolutely. Do our leaders need to find a solution? Absolutely. This is the solution that they have come up with. Is it suitable? Absolutely not. No. You cannot, forget even kidnapping adults, mm. you Children. cannot in the face of the amount of kidnappings that we have had in education at every level from children in, you know, to All have the that. University. And then tell a parent, these are parents that pass these laws, mm. that you will not pay, and if you pay, I will pay it with my full chest and you will take me to jail, whatever you want to do. Because your children are not in the country. So the fact is, it's not even about your children not being in the country. It is the fact that you are faced with a very bad problem and you are looking for a solution. Mm -hmm. They've gone down the easier route, mm -hmm. which is to target the parents who just want, or the family members or loved ones who just want... Oh, by the way, they're the victims, so... Exactly, who just want their <laughs> loved ones back. So that's one. Two... Cut before the horse. I like that you said that. What have you done to actually stave the problem? Because let's not be let's be clear. The business of kidnapping is booming. Seriously. If you can ask for hundred million get paid, you can ask for two fifty million get paid. Mm -hmm. Even on the lower end of the scale, the story one of the stories we were tent. reading, hmm. the man was kidnapped the first time, his family screamed screamed and scratched to pay one million. Paid it, they released him. Then the same set came back and kidnapped him again. Okay. Then his family had to sell everything. They had to pay another one million. Mm -hmm. So let's be clear that this business is booming. Now, what is being done? You are deterring the victims 
please, what are you doing to deter the, the kidnappers. kidnappers and the people, the criminals, the perpetrators? What are you doing? Now, you say, I think somewhere in this law, I, I saw somewhere that the kidnappers would be killed, right? Yes. yes. Death. There's a condition, no? Yes. <laughs> so, what leave the condition. Let's just say there's no condition. Death. They just chop your head. No, there's it's a condition. No, wait. Now, if I, if I was kidnapped for 30 days, like the woman that was pregnant and everything, and I did not die, nothing happens to the uh, kidnappers. So That's what I'm saying. Death, I'm just even saying that. Involved. Let's even say that there was no there was no condition that it was just killed. Please, how many people have you caught? How many of these things have been investigated? Mm. If we go right back to Chibok, which is the most, um, the, the, the oldest, the, the oldest one I can remember. Mm. You know, it's not even the Genesis, but that was the most public one that we yes, can remember. one of the first public ones. What, who mm. has been held responsible? Who has been caught? Hmm. Even the kidnapper that was eventually mm. caught, Evans, what happened to him? Ooh. So, as an entity, as a nation, we have done nothing to stop the crime then we go after the victims and say that is the way that we are going to stop it the, i only have one word for that and it's unimaginative when you start to read the story isi was saying as she was reading the story she was getting more upset the 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 explanation beneath it it's not even that lives are being lost not that nigerians are dying mm -mm. it is that we shouldn't appear on certain lists when it comes to financial acts and crimes now let's even come to the financial aspect of it we have put in laws against cash. Mm. We have a cashless policy. Mm -hmm. We have talked about BBN, NIN, mm. all the various ways in which you can identify Nigerians, right down to tying the NIN to the phone line. We still cannot follow Trace the money. The money. Don't forget that Go ahead, someone see. actually said that they know these kidnappers, they know where they are, but mm -hmm. they cannot reach them. Mm. They because are actually of the interacting same. with these kidnappers. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that. However, I want to I want us to start from this premise. I want us to take this. The what is the meaning of kidnapping, basically? Is the principal mo what is the principal motive of kidnapping? Um it is said here that the principal motives of kidnapping are to subject the victim to some form of involuntary yeah. servitude to expose him to the commission of some further criminal act against his person or to obtain ransom for his safe release. Now, the, 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 the Senate is saying that we should not obtain some sort of um, ransom or we should not pay the ransom for the release of uh, our loved ones safe what, release safe release of our loved ones why mm. so would is it okay for us to lose our loved ones in the process of having this Uti has already said most of these things mm. and what are the preventive measures they have put in place what is the root cause of um, kidnapping currently in, the in, the, in Nigeria unemployment mm. Um, lack of education or low standard of education. What are the other things that we can take into premise? And you know, it just cuts across border poverty, and it is so so. It's in everybody's faces. A lady walked up to me yesterday and said that she had not eaten. I had to give her some money for her to feed herself and her family. Now, is food? Would you be happy to see somebody in that kind you know, of dire need? sad part about poverty. But when you talk about poverty, the yes. sad part about that poverty is that yes. when you hear how much they sell a human being for. Mm. Remember that the child that was at the school at Omoli when I had. So you think the worth of a human life? And again, it is not. It is not. Um, yeah. We can't kid ourselves. Yeah. The election season is upon us, mm. and it seems like this thing has just quadrupled right the the cases of I, what we're hearing i was gonna, I was gonna to come that. to you Norma, because yeah. again somebody laid an allegation that the truth yeah. is that he thinks that this is a good move he said because government mm. parastatal they've been paying ransom totally. so interesting that even happened was that mm. there was a time somebody was kidnapped and the government actually claimed to have paid 800 million mm. only 30 million got to the kidnapper kidnapper begin the vex come bring us with you <laughs> Say, ah, ah. So the 800 million they pay, only 30 million come to me. That no, this is this, you know. So even within, there's a lot of insincerity within mm. because again, mm -hmm. they are saying that in all quote on unquote on the line gist is that this bill is supposed to be targeted at government um, um, bodies paying ransom because yeah. it is now a business, mm. right? You pay. I'll tell you that I have written there that what we had to pay mm -hmm. for the ransom was 800 million. But what, but what will you, come to you? So is they will 
So, so who is to blame? Which, which Number. buttresses is his point that the kidnappers are known? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They are known. Let me hear your I was just going to be, re I was reminded, while Isi was talking, I was reminded about the voice mm. notes that we heard mm. and um, how the person that was narrating his story mm -hmm. said that this is beyond just kidnapping, that there's some it's kind of cabal, it's a cartel. some kind of system going on. And then you brought out the aspect of profiteering. And it seems, from what we can see, that there are people who are benefiting from this system going on because when we hear like you said the number of the amount of monies that go into this is enough for you to put up a bill quote unquote to stop the profiteering from this situation but my question is at the end of the day who is benefiting the young boy who um attempted to kidnap some mm. people for five thousand naira mm. He doesn't even know that when these people are going to take these things, they're going to sell it at a much higher... Of course, the food The kidnappers just usually, don't. usually will say that even if they don't pay your ransom, mm -hmm. we're not going to lose. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? We're going to dismember Anyhow. you. Stephanie was dismembered mm -hmm. and parts of her body was taken away mm -hmm. for God knows what. If it's about ritual killings, there are people looking for livers. Mm -hmm. There are people looking for kidneys. There are people looking for, for arms and legs or whatever for rituals and all so who is profiting from this experience you're putting mm -hmm. up a bill and then you're telling my heart is so heavy I'm because you. i the level of insincerity <laughs> and insensitivity and in sensitivity that some mm -hmm. our, our so-called policy makers <laughs> present in their bills sometimes it is so disheartening and that's why we have been crying times without number for people to open their eyes in 2023, your elections, mm. the questions that you're asking the people who are going to be making policies on your behalf. And not focus on, and just, not the focusing on just the executives. There's so many mm. aspects to government. It's not just about the presidency. There's different aspects that continue to affect you and I as citizens of Nigeria. You can't make a bill. You can't try to pass a bill that you're not thinking about the people. Uti rightly said it, and it will, literally she took it out of my mouth because at the end of the day, these are victims. How are you sorting the problem of terrorism in Nigeria? The city government had promised before they came in that on top of the list is to tackle terrorism and insecurity in the country. Instantly, and this is how many said. years down the line it seems like it's becoming worse. Mm. You rightly said the elections are coming up. So people are beginning, it's, it's like the business is even booming more because these are the need. Who are the people that are, 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 are patronizing these terrorists? Mm. At the end of the day that they're booming and asking, having the audacity to ask for millions mm -hmm. and billions. And then people want to save the lives of their loved ones. If they had to scratch that voice note said that literally it was some group of that came literally came to that man's that uh, uh, uh man's aid to scratch out whatever it is that they could come together some church members family to be able to help so how are you being sensitive mm. to the need to the cry of now that people are losing loved ones mm -hmm. they was i was reading up on the on the write-up and mm. till date mm. we have about 87,903 people who have lost their lives since we started talking that about terrorism that, that in Nigeria. And account. these are the ones that are known. Yes. You are not talking about the people that are missing. Because some people never you are not the, You are not talking about the ones that have never been found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is beyond just putting out a bill there Absolutely. just for profiteering. Okay, let's take a break because the phone lines are buzzing. We'll take a break. We'll come back right now to you know open our phone lines. Stay with us. All right, so if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we are discussing terrorism prevention, 
bill passage and we're asking is it a smart move or a very insensitive move by our senate right please let's hear what you have to say remember you can join the conversation send us an sms or whatsapp to zero eight one eight zero three eight four six six three you can also tweet at us at way show africa one with the hashtag way show our phone line is now open you know the rules turn off the volume of your television set the number to call is zero seven zero two five zero zero seven seven four nine let me come to you ec you know about many years ago for our area na robbery the rain yes. all of a sudden it now shifted from robbery mm. to kidnapping and kidnapping at that time was for expatriates mm. it now became now i mean if you're going back to benin for instance you're coming Benin's from abroad yes. do you understand mm. you dare not not <laughs> because don't flaunt mm. your your, your uh, because your, they'll kidnap your, your, your you that was how it started mm. Don't and now it's everywhere. Hmm. But let me hear your thoughts, you see. But even at that time, even if they kidnap you, they won't hurt you. It's just go bring they the money. They used to give you food, sir. So. Go bring the money. We know say you get this money. Go and get go and get it for us. It was based on and information. And, mm -hmm. and they don't hurt you. So they bring you back in one piece mm. without hurting you. But these days, there is no empathy. There is so much insensitivity in the process of doing they it. They beat them. They, they torture them. them. Mal Did you see how they them? Let's what take a call. Okay. Sorry. Suleiman from Bauchi, thank you for calling. You're live. Thank you. Well done. Uh, I like to talk to you. The thing emotionally is not easy to take. But if you look at it, security why you know that what they did is because once you pay you pay the the kidnapper they buy no weapons and they kidnap more people and the easy thing the thing is that they don't put the people that kidnap the train station in Kaduna if you if you know they are not asking for them they are asking for their women and those leaders, if you release them, they are more dangerous to the society. So the government has to be careful. The issue is that the prevention is better than thank you thank you Suleiman. so please for those calling the whatsapp number you, you can't call us on the whatsapp number call the number on the screen that's the number to call for calling in somebody has been buzzing the whatsapp line so i don't know how to respond to Suleiman. no Suleiman makes a valid point. he makes a valid point about uh, but you see the truth is you can only put this bill in place when every other thing yeah has so been put in motion point, exactly which is why we say that it's on it's well i say it's, it's unimaginative you've said we all know i mean what which of the school kidnappings was it that they asked them to buy motorcycles mm. what for it's the same perpetration of the crime so the reality is that we understand that the problem exists mm. but what are you doing to stop the problem what are you doing to what have you put in because place there are so many mm. aspects to kidnapping right mm. there is the terrorism side of it mm -hmm. you know what's happening up and there's and the, all of that. the money side then there's the money side of it because mm. it's not every point like you said some people are kidnapping and it's mm. about body parts there's all sorts of diff it's mm. become quite lucrative yeah. i'll tell you let me take um peter from benin then i'll come back to you t mm -hmm. you're live thank you for calling yeah hello good evening hi peter thank you for calling yeah good evening. when i heard about this bill I just laughed in my heart. Okay. It's highly insensitive okay. because the primary responsibility of any responsible government is the protection of life okay. and the guarantee of security of the citizens. Yeah. Now, where did this slogan that came from that we don't have to show the terrorists? It came from America and like it was Richard Nixon. Mm. during the original capture of some American citizens. Which I know people say it by the speech so that it was written down. That has how that how most countries damage that slogan that we don't negotiate terms. Even the American that even the Chinese in America state and America is American point, they still negotiate in terms mm -hmm. through the back door. In the international economy, they're going to call back challenge. Thirty days now over 160 people are seen in the bush. Two women are present, 
one will learn from reliable source that she has given them that they need to doctor into them to deliver them. But what are we trying to do? <laughs> if you if then if this bill comes to pass now, are you not saying if the that people the government will not negotiate the children? Then the family member to just put their hands and say they will not bring money to the social system to free the loved one. The way forward is let the government provide security. If there's security to a reasonable state, that's when you cannot tell the citizens that there is a matter of policy that you don't negotiate with police and um, terrorists. I don't really like putting the cat before the horse in this country. It's a very funny, highly insensitive and wicked, wicked law that they want to bring into this country. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the thing has passed the third reading. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I mean, in fact, Peter has, has touched yes. where I was going. Mm. Because yeah. You now talk about the fact that there are many drivers. Mm. Then you, the real one is money. Mm. It's the economy. We're not just seeing Which was why EC was happy on poverty. Yes. Mm. So we're not just seeing it in the increase of kidnapping and ransoms. It, you just shared a video. Even crime, breaking and entering, breaking cars, all these things are on the increase. Why? People must eat. If you are hungry. Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow. And that's the reality. So there are many drivers for this problem. So when the government just comes with a bill that targets the victims, you know, for the worst of, devil jeopardy. for the worst of 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 reasons about the impacts of for the country hmm. sanctions, we as we are already we are already living a hard life. I'm telling you, what the sanctions going to add to it when people are dying oh, like chickens? Let's take a call somewhere for motor. Then I come to you. It's easy. Thank you for calling. Hello, good evening. Hi, Samuel. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I tell you what to contribute Um, on Tuesday, I said we are mad in this country. We think I'm joking. Nigeria is just a joke. We have goats, sheep. Oh. At leader. Ah, somewhere. Take it easy. I'm telling you, the two are nothing but the goat and sheep are the leader. No, take it easy. We, if we these that. people can feel the pulse of human beings, they will know the price of God. They will know it's not even easy to take over from one place to another. Yeah. We have. Oh, oh sugar. Somebody is asking a question that what do you do, and I want to come to EC on this, what do you do for the people that kidnap themselves? Which is why, mm. because because kidnapping, there are so As many aspects, like what people, yeah. it's very so profitable. So there were people that, you know, I'll tell them kidnap me, they will so call they will. and, you know, and send the ransom, we money. split the money. Hmm. So how do we even start to dissect this thing? Because there are people that genuinely are in big problems. Yeah. Well, some people actually just say, you know what, let me just feign this thing so that because it seems to be lucrative, I can get, some I can get something out, out of it. So, how I've do seen, we even. I've seen situations where um, a child will, you know, get herself or himself kidnapped and have the father or mother pay a ransom mm. on their behalf mm. or for them. Now, in, some, in a situation like this, that child should be held accountable. Why when they find out, right? Yes, of course. That situation. child should be, should be held accountable. And if that child is held accountable, the child is above 18, yes. You should go to jail. The child can go to jail, can face the full wrath of the law, you know. But if the child is not up to, is a minor, that is where you discipline. have to look for ways to, to, discipline. to discipline that child um, appropriately so that it doesn't occur again. Now, the key thing about this is that how are, I will come back again to value. How was that child trained? What, what are the people the children is, uh, the, 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 who are the people that the child is exposed to? Wait, 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 don't, let's you not see. even go to value. Uh, why so would I, wait, wait, wait. why would I even feign a kidnap in the first place? I want family. you to think on that question. Let me take your guest, old man, and I'll come back to you. That's where think the values that. also come in. No, 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 it's not, uh, hey! Youngest old man, you're alive. Yes. Well, I come now and I will do me. I wish I could be to Sorry! This kind of something, you should have said it for like three nights. I really think for the other guy that is using some hard language. You should have said that we are in TV. Yes, so we have begged him. I feel his pain, you understand? But 
they ensure you that it's similar thread than dog. Mm. Absolutely. Um, any policy you want to bring, we have to take it step by step. I really want to believe that the Senate is trying to do the, the necessary to call the, the 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 big business going on now, which is simply called the kidnapping business. Mm. But I think they should start from that step of. What do what will they do to a government that is not providing the necessary or the, the enabling environment? One, what 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 is going to be their consequences? What is going to be the consequences for them? Should they be impeached in 42 days or 32 days or in a month? They take out that government, they bring in another one. Secondly, they should think about what can they do for a government that has failed in security that cannot protect its citizens. Then after that, they will now say, okay, after all this has been provided, and you people are still going on to pay ransom, there is going to be consequences for pay ransom. But you don't go directly and say so much you not pay ransom. Why are they sending individuals of their family members being dealt with? That someone that this girl was raped on video, eight different bandits, eight, not five, not three, Hey, they were seeing in and they the poor girl was just there like that. Look, if you have co connection with Northern Ants, tell them to send you videos of what is happening in life. I once told you on this station that a girl gave birth. That's why I was going to celebrate this one that they gave birth and they allowed the child to leave. They fed that child to the dog. Fed it to the dog. That woman today is she's, not fighting. She's mad. Yeah, she's mentally. Until today, even they have left them now. Something is happening, something is happening, but I don't know until they open for eye on that deal. They never know until they. Mm. But I know that by the grace of God that we worship, Pharaoh will feel the same pain that the Israelites felt. I'm telling you this. Thank I'm you. Pastor, but I know so that what goes around comes around. Then by then, they will catch you now and they pay the money. My else they will do. Thank you so much. So, that is being kidnapped. Mm. So it's, it, it's really sad. It's so that's why it, when I see bills like this, it's like you're making light of oh, people's special. pain. This is double jeopardy. You have given me problem. Like I have a problem. Somebody that I love so much is under is is under somewhere. I cannot even I can't even tell what's happening to that person. You don't tell me that if I eventually pay this to release the loved one, I go to jail. Are you guys even understanding the situation? Uh -huh. You see, you see the situation. So, so that, that was the, the trauma, place. The it's trauma, it's the not making light of it. Has gone it is a shift in perspective. Do you you don't understand, understand the, what that person could be going through. So yeah. when I want to solve a problem, glass half full, glass half empty. empty. There is a solution that says I drink the water, yeah. or there's a solution that says I pour the water away. Hmm. It depends on how thirsty I am. So you, at this point, have take look at the way the story was couched. It did not speak of the death of, of Nigerians the, no, or the lives the of, Nigerians. Lives of Nigerians. Nigerians. It talked about it from the perspective of the, the country, country, the international laws, the, the image of, of the country, sanctions, which again is not a bad thing. It's not. But is that but what priority. is most important? Thank you. So priority. perspectives are key. So I love the way we've couched it in the sense that. Um, youngest old man said there is a sequence of events when you show me that security is important to you you have taken steps and measures, measures to improve security place. you have taken steps and measures to show the criminals that crime doesn't pay mm -hmm. because i will catch you and i will deal with you yeah. i look at the other drivers and i look at the economy i look at how to put money in people's pockets i need to look at how to employ people how to educate people mm -hmm. all of that is in motion mm -hmm. then you now come and say well I've done A, B, C. So it's not now, if now, you so choose to pay ransom, I will now face you because you have now become part of the problem. Mm. But you have not touched None the problem at that. all. Even money, you can actually print special money where people the serial can numbers can and all of those things. You've not put in any measure at all. But I think we have a caller as our final caller for the evening. Then I'll come back to EC and um, uh, uh, no, no, to hear your final thoughts. Mm. Quickly, let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, somewhere. Let me give uh, my solution. I see this deal. Can you first of all apologize for calling them ships and goats? No, I don't apologize for. Ah, okay. You're not ready. <laughs> Go ahead. Is it there? I think we've lost oh, Okay. So, so okay. Isi, let me hear your thoughts. My thought is this. They should prefer solutions first, which is what he has harped on. 
Performance solution is not about us going through the motion of just lip service or saying that we will, go, we will do this, we will do this. But we should see the actions being taken place so that the first, we should work uh, with the fact that we have individuals who are not educated. We should work on literacy. We should work on the greed and the mindset of Nigerians. We should work on prof providing jobs for Nigerians so that if this profiteering um, or whatever doesn't grow beyond what we currently have. Mm. And the fact that we have individuals who are um, who have been traumatized by the experience of being kidnapped. You know, when the young man was talking and he was describing the vivid um, a description of how the the ladies were being raped, and I could, I just couldn't take it. It is quite seething for me to take in. So, if we have um, like a, an anti um, an anti kidnapping squad that would be trained to actually go in there, get individuals who have done this, and hold them, hold them accountable. Mm. Hold them accountable. I think, yes, so, we can say that the government has done their part, okay. which they haven't Absolutely. yet. No, man, let me hear your thoughts quickly. Um, okay, before I, I share just a few words, um, I have a comment here. It says, good evening, ladies. I think this one... This is one of the insensitive bills passed by the legislature. Mm -hmm. Why not a bill on a governor of a state that cannot handle security being impeached or some for the president? Mm -hmm. Why will it be the masses that suppose they are supposed to that are supposed to be protected mm -hmm. bearing the pain? In 2023, we should elect people that really understand issues and can contribute intelligently and prefer solutions. Mm -hmm. These bills encourage citizens to be kidnapped and family leaving their loved ones to be killed. We should encourage the citizens to get PVC and vote rightly. That's from um, BC. Thank you, BC. BC. But um, okay. just to, to conclude, I think um, I would want to... Um, I would want to beg our legislation to have a heart. Mm. When they're considering this, think about your mothers, think about your daughters, think about your sons, think about your, your fathers. It is because of a sense of in, a lack of consideration. That's why we always have this mentality of not in my backyard. So because it's not happening close to me, I don't feel the pain. I don't know what you're going through. You, they kidnapped a son of yours. I, I have no, I don't know what that feels like. So I cannot empathize towards the victims. And that's why this bill can be okay for them to pass. Third reading. Third reading, you can imagine. So when they begin to have a heart in their considerations, when they begin to think as citizens of Nigeria, if this was affecting me directly, mm. what would I do? You know what? If they refuse to have a heart, for we us can, the people, let me say my own. We solution. can take them out. For us the people, you must start to think of um, getting well educated when it comes to your uh, what's it called? Your governance, the, system, the governance structure in Nigeria, so that if they refuse to have a heart like Noma has begged them, we will take them out and put people that have heart. If those ones come again, their head is not correct, we move them out and it's like that. So there has to be a system until we get until the right we kind get of people. The right side of people. Mm. Now, remember something. Evans was, was arrested in Magodo, mm -hmm. right? There was a lot of fancy around it. And all. Who is the policeman again that's going to, to arrest him again? Arrest him. Mm -hmm. Answer the name. First <laughs> mm -hmm. His name doesn't come quickly to mind. Please, Ute, I know you know He's the answer. He's the one that, that was caught. Why are you oh, trying oh, to, why are you oh, trying oh, to okay. call him okay. the okay. name? Where's the mouth? Abba Kiari. Abba Kiari. Was the one that to went trade. to pick a kidnapper. Because. Yeah. He knew he where he was. Down the lab, a few years down the he line. was Super exposed. Cop has been indicted for being a drug, uh, what's it called? Peddling drugs and whatever. He's been indicted and, and all of that. The so, my point is that even the people that are supposed to be part of this security architecture, because you cannot tell me that these kidnappers, the, the, our police and our army, our military and they all They don't have people, the money they do to not have fish these people out. They do not have not even fish. They do not have a cut in mm. this so-called percentile share. Because this thing is very profitable. Do you hear how much they, they take for ransom money? 
So if we are ready and we are serious people, before you come and pass a bill to say you want to arrest me and put me in jail for 15 years because I had to go and pay a ransom that I did not have, because mind you, most of us don't have this ransom. We have to sell things to go and pay the ransom. Before you say you want to come and arrest me, yeah. can you please make sure that you have done all that you have dotted all your your Your, your, your eyes and crossed all your teeth mm. as a government security wise? Mm. They can come to me and tell me that yes, mm. if you go ahead to pay that ransom, I'll jail you. Mm. There's nobody who will do that. The first thing you will do is to go and meet the special squad to say, you know what, my person I've just got a call and and, and they will take they take, take it up from there. On that note. We rest our case. I rest my case. <laughs> thank you, Numa. <laughs> thank you, Isi. Thank, thank you, Uti. I'm using it to calm myself. <laughs> and thank you, Uwa. <laughs> Let me thank myself today. <laughs> thank you to everyone that called and um, uh, tried to call. Oh. Uh, the phone is still ringing. Sorry, we can't take all the calls. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Is at Ratio Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and more importantly, follow all the engagement on social media. Like, share, invite your families and friends to watch the show. If you miss this, our quote today, <laughs> here it is again. One of the greatest disillusions in the world is the hope that the evils in this world are to be cured by legislation. This is from Thomas Reed. I didn't say it. So just go and think about that quote very well. We'll see you guys live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>